Hello students, welcome back to Rickshaw Technologies video. I am your English teacher Tanuja Sharma and today we are going to start the, uh, you know, we are going to study present tense, chapter number 8, tense says, in this chapter we are going to start with present tense. In the previous session, I taught you what are tenses, right? Now today we are going to start with present tense and its subtenses. Now children, as I told you in the previous session, the time has been divided into three parts. The middle part is present. On the other side, we have past tense that means the time which has gone, present the time which we are living right now and the future the time which is going to come. So time is divided into three parts, right? Now today we are going to study present tense, the time which we are in, which we are living in right now. So now children, present tense is divided into four parts. It is divided into four parts. And what are those four parts? The first part is simple present tense. The first part is simple present tense. The second part is present continuous the third part is present perfect and the fourth part is present perfect continuous All right, present tense is divided into four parts, simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. So let us understand first present, simple present tense. Children, simple present tense actually talks about things which are permanent, things which are permanent, when we talk about our routine jobs, alright, when we talk about our routine jobs, then facts or you can say universal facts which cannot change at all, universal facts, schedules, schedules or you can say something which happens uh, frequently, you know frequency of a work depends upon frequency of a work. Now one by one I will be giving you few examples of this. For example, permanent, things which are permanent like I work at ex, uh, at a bank, I work at a bank, I work at a bank. Now this thing is permanent, I work at a bank, alright, when I work in the morning, in the evening, time is not Sure, time is not given over here. It simply says that I work at a bank. That means presently I am an employee in a bank. Fine. And it is a 
permanent thing. All right, it is telling about myself that what I do presently, what I do. All right, routine jobs. Routine jobs, for example, uh, we go for walk every evening. We go for a walk every evening. Now, this is my routine job. Daily I am doing this every evening. Daily it is happening. All right. So, it is a simple present tense as it is, it was happening, it is happening and it will happen. So, it is continuous a thing, you know, which we do on daily basis also comes in simple present tense. That means presently, every evening I am continuing with my routine work. Then we come to facts. Facts like the earth is round uh, or the sun rises, the sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. Now children, this is a universal fact. You cannot change it, right? Can you change? Can you change the direction from where sun rises? No. It has been rising in the east direction since billion of years, right? We cannot change this universal facts. So, universal facts also comes under simple present tense. All right. Now, schedules are English class starts at nine o'clock again it is a schedule right always on daily basis our class starts at nine o'clock our english class starts at nine o'clock so this is a daily work which starts at nine o'clock daily so most if we talk about in a nutshell, if we talk, the things which were like that, which are like that and which will be like that. The things which we do on a daily basis, the things which happens on a daily basis, the things which, af which happens on, uh, on the basis of frequency, you know, like never, always, often, rarely, barely, these things are covered into simple present tense. If we talk about frequency, you know, she never tells lie. Now, this, this sentence is telling you the frequency of the work she does. Never. She does it. She never does it. All right. I hope you have understood what we cover in simple present tense. Permanent things, routine facts, routine, uh, routine task, facts, schedules and frequency. All right. Now children, let us see what is the syntax or what is the formula if I say for framing a simple present tense, uh, a simple present tense sentence. Just see that. Simple present tense formula includes subject plus 
verb in the first form i told you verb forms right present past past uh, past participle that is present is verb first form like go verb first form second form went verb third form gone go went gone all right so this is about verb forms subject plus verb first form plus s or es remember subject and verb agreement that also we have already discussed right if the subject is singular then the main verb will be plural fine i'll tell you with an example subject plus verb first form plus s or es if required that is why i have written in brackets then object this is the formula for simple present tense now let us see an example and then this formula will be justified just take the example which we have already done the sun rises from the east this is from the east now just see the sun is subject all right the sun is subject we are talking about sun so it is a subject rises verb first form plus s actually the verb is rise all right rise plus s from the east all right from the east is object all right now this is the affirmative sentence this sentence is affirmative sentence all right or you can say assertive sentence or declarative sentence all right now if we want to make an interrogative sentence out of it we want to make an interrogative sentence out of it then what we are going to do we are going to do just change the you know just change the uh we will uh, add do plus do or does do or does we are going to add plus subject plus verb first form plus object let us see just change this sentence into an interrogative form by applying this formula for example just change we are going to change this sentence only if the subject is singular then apply does does the sun rise from the east does the sun rise from the east this is this will be the interrogative form of the sentence of the simple present tense now if we want to make an interrogative sentence then what we are going to do just write subject plus do or does not plus verb in the first form plus object this will be the formula that means we have to add do or does not between the subject and the verb subject and the verb we have to add do or does not 
रिमेंबर एस एंड ई एस वी आर एडिंग ओनली इन असर्टिव सेंटेंस ओनली इन असर्टिव सेंटेंसेस नॉट इन इंटेरोगेटिव एंड नॉट इन नेगेटिव एस एंड ई एस एडिंग ऑफ एस एंड ई एस वी आर ओनली डूइंग इन असर्टिव और डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस सो चेंज दिस सेंटेंस ओनली इन टू नेगेटिव फॉर्म द सन does not rise from the east all right i hope you have understood the sun does not rise from the east i hope you have understood simple present tense and how to frame it so just write the formula this was for assertive sentence for interrogative sentence do does plus subject plus verb first form plus object negative subject plus do does not plus verb first form plus object this is the three formulas for simple present tense assertive interrogative and negative now we come to present continuous tense very simple to understand present continuous tense is just talking about the work which is going right now the work which we are doing right now as i am teaching you tenses what i am doing i am teaching you tenses this is the work which i am doing right now the work is in continuation here we do not know when the work actually started in the past and when the work is going to end in the future the starting of the work the time when the work started and the time when the work is going to end is unknown what do you know actually just that that the work is going right now all right so present tense includes going work that means the work in continuation work in continuation the work uh, the work which is which continues work which continues now let us see the formula for present continuous tense very easy subject plus is am r i told you helping verbs is am r r for present tense right subject plus is am r plus verb first form plus ing plus object this is the formula for present continuous tense now just make the sentence out of it same example we are going to take the sun rises from the east or we can take uh, as another simple sentence like i work at the bank right subject i with i we are going to use am work verb is work work ing ing we have to add we have to add ing working i am working at in a bank or at a bank at a 
bank. All right, I am working at a bank. I hope you have understood this formula. This is for again assertive sentences. All right, now let us look the formula for interrogative sentences. Just what you have to do is just change the position of this with this and this with this. That is it. Is, am, are, subject plus verb plus ing and verb must be in the first form plus object. This is for interrogative sentences. See the example. What was the sentence we took? I am working at a bank, right? Am I working at a bank? Am I working at a bank? I do not know. All right. So, I am working at a bank. Assertive sentence. Am I working at a bank? Interrogative sentence. I hope you have understood this. Now, let us see the. Let us see the negative formula. Just add I am not. Just add not between is am are and verb plus ing. That will be the formula for negative sentence. Subject plus is am are plus not plus verb plus ing plus object. This is the negative formula. Subject I am not working at a bank. This is the formula for negative. So, I hope you have understood these three formulas also. All right. Now, let us continue with our other two tenses that is present perfect tense. Now, in the previous session, I told you in perfect tenses, we include the work which is completed, the work which is complete. So, present perfect means we are going to include the work which has just completed a few seconds ago or a few moments ago. All right, present perfect that means, sorry, present perfect, the spelling is wrong over here. No, same, fine. The present perfect means the work which has completed a few moments ago. Now, what is going to, uh, what is, what will be the uh, formula for this? The formula will be just see the formula. First formula for assertive sentence subject plus has have plus verb in the third form plus object. Very easy, very easy formula. Subject plus has have verb third form that means past participle form of the verb plus object. 
I work at a bank. This sentence we are going to take. I work at a bank. This is a simple present tense. Change this. Subject is I. With I we are going to use have. I have. Verb is work. Third form will be worked. I have worked. I have worked at a bank. I have finished my lunch. You have finished your lunch. Like that. So, this will be the formula for assertive sentences. Now, formula for interrogative sentences. Very easy. Again, just swipe the position of has have with subject. Has or have plus subject plus verb third form plus object. Alright. Have I worked? Have I worked at a bank? Alright. Have. Have I worked at a bank? Easy. Now negative form. Very easy again. Subject has have plus not plus verb third form plus object. I have not worked at a bank. I have not worked at a bank. All right. I subject have plus not worked at a bank. This will be the negative form. All right. Now, let us see what do we include in present perfect continuous tense. This is about present perfect, present continuous, simple present. Now, let us see present perfect continuous. Now, children, in present perfect continuous, what do we include? In present perfect continuous, we are going to include tasks which are partially complete and partially incomplete. Right? We know the task when it started, but it is in continuation right now. We know the starting of the task when it started, but it is still in continuation. For example, I have been teaching English since 15 years. So, Till 15 years, since 15 years, I am doing this task. So, time when it started, we know 15 years ago, the job started. It is still continuation. For 15 years, till 15 years, my task is complete. Partially complete. And how we can say that partially it is incomplete? As we are still doing the task. Got my point? So, in present perfect continuous, we are going to include the work which are partially complete and partially incomplete. Just see the formula. First, assertive, sen assertive sentences. Subject plus has have plus been plus verb 
प्लस आई एन जी प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ऑल राइट सो जस्ट सी द सेंटेंस आई हैव बीन वर्किंग एट अ बैंक सिंस फोर इयर्स so here you can see that the work the uh, you know i have been working in a bank for four years my task is complete and the work is still going on you can say i have been reading oliver twist since last night so since last night i started the work last night i started the work and still i am reading this book now this was the formula for assertive sentence now let's see the formula for interrogative sentences interrogative sentence just has have put has have just before has have subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus object just change that sentence only i have been working all right have i been working at a bank since for years have i been working at a bank since 4 years question mark all right so this is the interrogative sentence of present perfect continuous now let us see the negative sentence subject plus has have plus not plus been plus verb plus ing plus object all right sentence i have not been working at a bank since 4 years all right i have have been just insert and not between them all right so this was this were the four tenses all right these were the four tenses again we will have a recap of that in simple present tense we talk about permanent routine fact schedule or frequency kind of work the work which happens on daily basis all right in for present continuous we talk about the work which is going right now when it is started when it is going to end we don't know all right we just know that the work is going right now we are doing this work right now when, then we talk about present continuous present perfect when the work has just completed the task is completed but a few moments ago in the near past all right then present perfect continuous the work started in the past but it, but it is still continuing all right that means partially it is complete half job has been done half is still going on i hope you have understood all the four tenses thank you and have a nice day